Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the exact value of each expression. First, we have the arc sine, which I'm just going to call sine inverse, of sine of 5 pi over 4. And the reason I wrote arc sine of sine inverse, right, these are two ways to write the same function, is because this really represents that this is the inverse of the function of a value. And when you're taking the inverse of a function, or the function of its inverse, they're just canceling each other out. So this is just 5 pi over 4. Here it's a little bit more complicated because we have cosine of 2 times sine inverse. What we're going to do is we're going to say let x equal sine inverse of 5 over 13. If we do this, then this is equal to cosine of 2 times this thing is x. And what we have to do here is use an identity that cosine of 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. And this is equal to 2, and I'll make this a little bit clearer, sine of x squared. And the reason I'm turning it from sine to cosine is because then when we plug back in, we have 1 minus 2 times the sine of this thing, sine inverse 5 over 13 squared, we can see that this is, okay, 1 minus 2 times this thing squared, sine of sine inverse, again, we're taking the function of its own inverse, they cancel each other out and you're just left with 5 over 13. Therefore, this is equal to 1 minus 2 times 5 over 13 squared, 5 squared is 25. 13 squared is 169. 2 times 25 is 50 over 169. 1 itself is 169 divided by 169. Therefore, we have 169 minus 50 over 169. It's 119 over 169. So the arc sine of sine of pi over 4 is 5 pi over 4 and cosine of 2 times the inverse sine of 5 over 13 is 119 divided by 169. 